only his work in each of our body minds will make a difference. He has to be made available in everyone's body mind for there to be a difference. This is the difference. This devotion is the difference. The devotion to Adidas Samraj, the source, condition, the divine person, the bridge to God, will make a difference. Adidam has lots of wonderful, beautiful buildings. Adidam has lots of wonderful people. And so has many, many other organisations and institutions. Look at the fine art in the, in, the, in, the, in, in the Catholic Church. Well, in any church. There's lots of wonderful artwork. Thousands and thousands of pieces. What is external is not going to make the difference. It's the change of disposition that's going to make a difference. Until there is a community of hearers and seers, there will not be any difference. This transformation has to take place. It's a graceful happening. And it will never happen until there is one point of devotion in the individual. The more individuals that are enacting one point of devotion, fidelity, not devotion to the exercises and the disciplines and the instructions and the behavioural things, all that is secondary. This relationship must be felt to be working in your own lives. The disposition from this to this must be noticeable so that there is no, not one iota of you wanting me to make you happy. And me wanting you to make me happy. There must be this sense, this acknowledgement, this noticing that you are already happy. That is the difference, which will make a difference. We're not meant to be selling or promoting a way of life. We're meant to be promoting a disposition, a change of disposition. So that when you go from here to there to here, from there to there, you are always in the same dis disposition. So that at the end of the day, if someone says, what have you been doing today? You'll say nothing. And where have you been today? Nowhere. Because your body mind has been given over to God. And because your disposition hasn't changed, therefore you haven't gone anywhere. There is nowhere to go when you're in this disposition. There is nothing to do when you're in this disposition.
Oh, it's a madness. It's a craziness. I cannot be, it's not accepted in the world. Why did he hide himself away from the public? Jesus didn't. What happened to Jesus? That's why Adida couldn't. The same would happen. Or at least there's a possibility. And when he did step out in the, into the public, he had to look like a conventional man. He didn't walk around in his briefs. Put a suit on. He behaved himself as it were. <laughs> True devotion doesn't make you crazy. It is a craziness. The disposition. not a case of you must want enlightenment it's just that you find this more attractive than your humdrum way of life that could be anyone how are you to be noticed to be different noticeably different because you're carrying around a picture of Eddie Dahl all day long with you you continually devote you, see, you know when you're contracting and you turn away from it. People will see that you're not going elsewhere. You're going to God all the time. That's what has to be noticed. You're not drinking the cup of tea to make you feel better. You're turning to God. That doesn't necessarily make you feel better, but the disposition changes. Your intention is there. You find this more attractive, more attractive than the cup of tea, than the sweet, than the chocolate cake. But then you can drink and eat and all that from this disposition. It becomes part of God's play. There's not one condition that cannot be embraced. Not one. Adida proved that to us. He was outrageous in his younger days. Getting his devotees to do this, that and the other. And some refused. Some complained. It's inevitable that happens. But there's no praise or blame from this disposition. It just has happened and it happens and you get intelligent this this disposition is already intelligent already discerns there's going to be no change in the world until there's more and more people in this disposition who know that, goes, who feels that and goes immediately, immediately turn. That's what it means by turning the other cheek. Keep turning away from the slap of the face to that. <laughs> I'm going to say, I know, because this body-mind gets transformed by this relationship. This is the agent to God, the agent of the source, the bridge to God. And everything becomes the bridge to God. There's nothing that doesn't arise in God. There's only God.
C, 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 and here and here and C. At the moment, it will not make, Adidam will not make a difference. It's just another institution or communion. Uh, it's just another set of conditions. Just another composition. We've become addicted to certain compositions. People become addicted to the Beethoven compositions or the Mozart compositions or the works of Van Gogh or the poem, poems of Wordsworth or Dylan Thomas or the food of that chef, particular chef or the video games or certain authors. We become addicted. It's just another, they churn out another, like what Agatha Christie did, churning out this, this, and this, and this. It's just another composition. But the disposition, once that's changed from this to this, you're not living at all in order to be made happy. You are already happy. And that's what makes a difference. I'm in the world, I go out in the world, I take him with me wherever I go, because I know the ridiculousness of this, and this is more attractive than this. It's like the asthmatic, taking, always taking the Ventolin with her or him. It's always, you know, when they've got a medical problem or a bodily body problem, there has to be some kind of remedy. But this is the remedy that this is the, this is the remedy of being of unhappiness. This is already happy. That's the remedy of this nonsense. This there's no bottle of pills that's going to take away this that we do to ourselves. We're doing it to God. We're strangling God. Stop strangling God and allow God to live you under all conditions. Da. Thank you, Lord. That will make the difference. See. See for yourself. See what you're up to and turn away. It's radical. That's what makes it radical. Turning to a cup of tea is not radical. Turning to a book is not radical. Turning on the radio is not radical. Some people travel thousands of miles for a cure. That's radical. There's a surgeon in Australia that will, he's the one, he's the one to see. That's radical. Don't need to go to Australia. Don't need to go anywhere. In this very moment, find God. Find already happiness. <laughs>